Hi, this is Sam Welker with ThinkParticle.com, and in this video, we are going to be talking about the TP Toolkit. This is the visual documentation series where you can learn how to use each object in the TP Toolkit. And you can find the TP Toolkit at ThinkParticle.com and learn more there, and uh, pick up your own copy if you haven't already. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the TP Static MoGraph object and what that is. So it's a way to emit particles that don't have a lifespan are just constant just technically they stay exactly where they are until you add turbulence so these particles are just placed there and it uses a uh, matrix object and some expresso calculation to uh, place these particles here and you can use these as a great utility you can cover other objects with particles and just have objects stick out of that object from these particles um, so to control that, let's go ahead and start this. Um, you're going to have your TP static MoGraph object. You're going to drag that in. So let's go ahead, or drop that in, excuse me. So let's go ahead and set that up. So we have our uh, object is enabled. So we can enable it or disable it. And if you go to frame zero, that will allow you to uh, reset the particles that do not exist, or that shouldn't exist. So we're going to set our, uh, our particle group and then we're going to set our static emitter. And in the last video, um, the TP MoGraph video, actually that was two videos ago, we talked about uh, having to have a pair, or not being able to use parametric objects uh, for that emitter. But for this one, you can. So that is the TP static emitter, okay? And it uses the matrix, op matrix object and effectors uh, to drive particle positions. So in this case, uh, we drag, uh, we can control our matrix object now. So let's go ahead and look at this. We have our particle group, our static emitter, and our matrix object. So that's just, if we set it up like this, is just going to have thinking particles in the TP toolkit group um, with a particle on each uh, vertice. Now to control that, we go to the matrix object, and then basically down here is where we control those settings. So we can set it to edge, we can set it to polygon center, and if we uh, go to frame one and back to zero, that will reset the particles that shouldn't exist. So you do need to do that. You can set it to surface, and you could set that to say 2,500 or 25,000 particles on the surface of this object. So that's a lot of particles, okay? Um, you can set it to the volume of an object, and you can fill an object with particles. And so let's go ahead back to surface and set it to 250. Okay. So we have our particles now on our surface. And we can add, say, a random effector. And in that random effector, we can set the random uh, mode to noise and set the animation speed to 10. And now maybe more like 40. Okay, and now these particles are moving along that axis and we can change the scale of the randomness. Maybe if we make it blue, make the particles blue, you'll be able to see them better. There you go. So just adding the random effector with noise values, uh, with the random mode of noise to uh, this already makes it look a lot better. And then we can also add uh, thinking particle uh, settings like uh, adding custom turbulence, which we'll talk about later, to make these exciting uh, excuse me, uh, these exciting renders. Um, so we'll go ahead and set that to 25 particles. And there you go. Adding custom turbulence and uh, the random effector gives us these really interesting little squiggles. So there you go. So that is the TP static MoGraph object. It is enabled and disabled, or I guess disabled and enabled. You can set a particle group. You can set the object it emits to. So instead of a sphere, you could say use a figure. Though for this case, I think you do need to uh, make the figure editable in this case and select all the children and then connect object and delete. And then you can use the figure. The figure is kind of funky about that sometimes. So. 
that is a great way to emit from the surface or uh, I guess just emit on the initial frame from any object and then you can uh, use the matrix object settings uh, down here the up or the uh, distribution and then the count and things like that so say you want to do it on the uh, vertex or on uh, the polygon center that can be controlled there so anyways that is the tp static mograph object in a nutshell so thank you very much for watching um oh and you can add effectors and uh, you can find the tp toolkit at thinkparticle.com and the rest of the series will be there as well it's this really powerful thinking particle toolkit that will allow you to uh, hence the name tp toolkit um, which will allow you to get started with particles um, in a far more advanced way than what natively comes with the uh, with the thing or with the particle groups, and even uh, more advanced than the thinking particles uh, in Cinema 4D um, by just dragging in emitters and say dynamics. We've got some complicated setups here that really, uh, ideally, are going to save you a lot of time. So. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and go ahead and check that out at thinkparticle.com, where you can also find the rest of the visual development series, and uh, or visual documentation series. And I'm Sam Welker, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.